What's up, people? She who grew up 13 here. I told you yesterday that I would do a review on my ball chains that came in today, or if they came in today, I would, and they did, so here I am. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of reviews on products more than I have my pieces lately. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully I can get back to showing you guys my pieces, that way uh, you're not getting bored with all my product stuff. So, anyway, I usually order from another shop for my ball chains, um, and certain findings and necklaces I usually order from certain people, but the girl that I was supposed to order from, she had put her shop on vacation, and I kind of needed ball chains now. <laughs> so, um, I had already purchased these by the time she had come back and put her shop on, uh, not on vacation anymore, so. Anyway, I ordered these on, I think, what day was it? Paid on March 6th. Today is the 9th, so. Uh, I ordered from Purple Mountain BTQ. And I ordered 100 ball chains. And you could pick which colors you wanted from what she has listed in that little picture up there to the left. I paid $40 for 100 of them, which is really not that bad. Um, and $6 for shipping. So $46 for 100 ball chains is not bad at all. There's another company that's on there that's pretty popular for stuff and I'm not going to say any names but I think it's something crazy like $50 for 50 ball chains and 60 bucks for 100 it's something crazy like that so this price was not ridiculous by no means um, good deal quick shipping and you could pick which colors you wanted so I picked 50 black 20 green 10 light blue 10 purple 5 pink and 5 red and it says from left side of picture because if you look up there at the pinks there are two pinks listed so wanted to make sure that I got the right pink so anyway a uh, note from shop and it just says basically tracking number important read the stuff on the back because it's her policies yada 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 it came in this box she had them wrapped in um, like a uh, ziploc baggies and she had them tied off in like different sections and stuff like that she also had it um, some peanuts in there which she really didn't need to do because they're just ball chains but she even packed peanuts in with it so I've already disposed of them because I work at a shipping store and peanuts get everywhere. <laughs> they drive me nuts. So, here they are. 20 green ball chains. And then she's got the 10 blue, 5 purple, or is it 10 purple? I don't know. 5 red, 5 pink. There you go. That's a pretty good shot of it. She has them tied in a bunch up here. All of them are tied together here. But what she's done is she's gone... Sorry, I'm making a bunch of noise. She's gone and tied them off into their appropriate colors, so at the ends, they're tied together. So there's the five pink, the five red are tied together, the five, five or ten purple, ten purple, the ten blue. I love the blue. Blue's my favorite color, so go figure, but I love that. And then the twenty green. So she does tie them off into different sections if you get different colors. Then I ordered 50 black, and she just threw all of them all into a Ziploc baggie because there were 50 of them. So, anyway, that's my little haul of the ball chains. And like I said, I ordered them on the 6th. They got here today is the 9th. And good quality, good price. And normally I do order from somebody else. However, she was on vacation, so I tried someone else, and I'm happy with trying this person as well. So now I've got more than one source to get my ball chains from, which is always good to have in case of an emergency like what just happened. So anyway, go check out her shop. And also I got this um, plastic cover thingy. I was using Tupperware to cover my pieces while they are drying. Um, but one, I couldn't really see through the Tupperware that I had. And two, I used it for so long that it had like... Everything in the world stuck to it, glue, resin, glitter, polymer clay, like anything, liquid clay, everything you can think of was stuck to it. So I kept throwing like the ones away that I had that I would go and get and I'm like, I'm tired of wasting money on this. So went to the dollar store, bought one of these, it has two pieces to it. So I usually use the clear piece to cover the pieces that I'm still working on. So the ones that are like curing and I still want to add stuff to it later, like in the process of them curing, I cover with the plastic one, the see-through one, and then... Uh, the ones that I'm not really worried about, don't care if they dry for however long, I just stick underneath the uh, tin foil one. So I picked that up for a dollar from the dollar store. Uh, and also I got some glitter from a place called Tuesday Mornings. Um, they're like a, like a, not a, really a thrift store, but like a, like um overstocked wholesale store, I don't know. 
Like, when, when stores order too much of something and they don't sell all of them, they sell them to the store, and the store marks them down after a couple of weeks, and it was, like, 96 cents for that, and it was really pretty glitter, so I went ahead and got that, and then I've been walking around with my iPad mini in a jewelry case, like a necklace jewelry case, <laughs> because it was the perfect size for it, and it had little flaps that would flip over the side, so it was pretty secure, but it was kind of beat up because it was not meant for an iPad mini. So my mom found this at her thrift store today for 96 cents. And it just, let me get the strap on there right there. It has a strap that you pull over the side of it from down there. So it secures it. And then it has a little pocket right here. You can put stuff in right there. And uh, what else? It has a spot for a pen or a stylus right there. A credit card. A little flap to put paperwork in if you need to. Um, and then the iPad mini just fits in there. Obviously, it's not really meant for it. I think it was meant for a Kindle or something because this doesn't have a spot for a camera, but it'll work for now. I plan on buying one. I just hadn't gotten around to it or hadn't really been to a store that carried uh, the cases. And every time I go to some place in this area that would have cases, they're always sold out of uh, the size for the mini. So, um, yeah, got that. Not bad. 96 cents, can't really beat that, so that's my kind of little mini haul update thing. I know I haven't done uh, updates on my pieces. I will try and get to that at some point this week. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye!